Now, let us begin question number 94. It says, in a particular year, the price of the wheat in the market is rupees 15 per kg and a farmer produces 100 kgs of wheat. In the next year, the price of wheat has fallen to rupees 10 per kg and the farmer produces 120 kgs. The question is, if the government wishes to stabilize the income of the farmer, then what will be the minimum support price? Now, students, we see here that earlier the farmer was earning rupees 1500, but now because of the reduction in the price of the wheat to rupees 10 per kg, he is earning rupees 1200. Now, in order to stabilize his income, the government needs to fix the minimum support price at rupees 12.5 per kg. Hence, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Now, let us move on to the next question, question number 95. Let us start question number 95 now. A country has four groups of people. The table below describes some social indicators of these groups. Identify the group that is most vulnerable. Okay. Now, we are given here a table which has details about the groups, literacy rate, life expectancy and the unemployment rate. Now, students, when we analyze the data given here, clearly it is the group C which is most vulnerable. So, we will mark our answer here as option number 3. I hope it is clear. Now, let us move to question number 96. Now, let us discuss question number 96. Which of the following statements are correct? Let us read the statements. The first statement says, bank deposits share the essential features of money. A correct statement. The second statement says, any depositor may demand his deposit at any point of time from a bank, which is also a correct statement. Bank must retain all deposits by itself. This is an incorrect one. Hence, her answer would be statement number 1 and 2 are true, but 3 is false. I also write it for you. The answer here is option number 1. Now, let us move to question number 97. 